Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another wow, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. <sighs> Why are you upset? That was so cool. Well, I was really kind of hoping I could make it longer. But what was it? It's a chain stick reaction. It's kind of like a chain reaction where one event causes the next event to occur, which causes the next event to occur. It, for example, most people have made domino trains. These are a type of chain reaction where one domino knocks over a second and so on until the entire train has fallen over. But yours had sticks lying flat, suddenly jumping into the air. How can the sticks just jump into the air? Well, because the sticks weren't lying flat. Think of it like this. Some materials, like this rubber sheet, are elastic. Elastic materials, when stretched, will return to their original shape. But the sticks are made of wood. That isn't like rubber. Well, wood isn't as elastic as rubber, but it can be bent a little and still return to its original shape. Take trees, for example. You can bend their branches and they'll return to their original position. If they weren't elastic, they'd just bend and stay bent or snap off in the wind. Because wood is elastic, we can bend our wooden sticks a little. This stores energy in the stick. When the stick unbends, it turns that energy into jumping. You can even calculate it using an equation like this one that shows how much bend and the elasticity of the material to calculate it. The key is to not bend it past the point of failure. That's where you push a material beyond its elasticity and it breaks. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're building stick chain reactions. For this, you'll need large tongue depressor sized sticks available at most craft stores. But not the small ones because they're hard to work with and they tend to break easily. And always remember to wear your safety goggles or glasses as these chain reactions sometimes go off accidentally. To create a chain stick reaction, you basically have to weave the sticks into a pattern. There are a variety of patterns available on the internet. We're going to weave what is known as the Cobra pattern. Start with one stick and place a second stick on top of it so they cross about one third of the way away from their ends, creating sort of an off-center X. Next, place a third stick under the first stick, but at the opposite end, again crossing the two sticks at about one third of the way from their ends. The next step is to weave on an end cap. This will keep your chain reaction hopefully from accidentally setting off on one end while you're adding on to the other end. To do this, weave a stick under stick one, over stick two, and under stick three. Do not let go of the other end of your stick chain from this point on or else it will go off. Now we can begin adding on to the chain by weaving on additional sticks. Take a fifth stick and place the end of it on top of the end of stick two. Then weave it under stick three. This will create a crisscross sort of pattern. Remember, don't lift your hand from the end you are working on or else your entire stick chain will react. Add on the next by placing the end of it onto the end of stick one and weave it under stick five. Then just keep creating the pattern. To get the best result, you want to weave the pattern for at least three feet, but the longer you go, the better the final result. When you're ready, just let it go. <laughs> When you let go, the energy stored by bending the sticks at the end is released. That released energy causes the stick to fly off, allowing the next stick in the chain to release its stored energy. And so it goes with each stick getting to release its energy as the chain reaction goes on down the line of sticks. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>